Hey what's up guys welcome back to project vault. In this video I will be showing you how I made it possible to power an inkjet printer from a battery or from a car. So sit back, relax and let's get started. Tech companies hate me, mainly because I'm making innocent stuff sound too dirty. For this project, we are gonna need a project box like this, which can fit this hot <laughs> boost converter, a cute little voltmeter, a fan to cool the <laughs> boost converter, and a few other things which you can find out in the video description. Let's pin down this boost converter to the case real tight. The little voltmeter goes on top of course. Oh yeah, and the fan, don't forget the fan. Strip off the 12 volt female connector and screw it real tight onto the case. After inserting a long thick wire which already has a 12 volt male connector at the tip, it's time to tie up some wires together. The negative or black wires of the voltmeter, the cooling fan and the power in connector which is the 12 volt female connector we added in earlier should be connected together. The positive or red wire of the voltmeter, the cooling fan and the power in connector should be connected together. To get a better connection, you can solder the wires together. In plus is where you connect the positive from their power in and next to that is the ground for power in. On the other side is the power out positive and next to that is the ground for power out. Make sure of the polarity when connecting the wires together. Now it's time to hack the printer. I used a Canon IP2770 inkjet printer for this. You will lose your warranty if you are gonna do stuff like this. I used a screwdriver to loosen the lock which holds the power supply in place. Don't use too much force or you may damage the printer. This power supply states that it outputs 24 volts. Oh wait, 
they always want to make stuff hard for us. Son of a b**** Ah, fine. I'll get my vote meter. I'm back. I brought some DuPont cables along with me to connect the wires together. Let's take it, you little sh**. Say hello to my little friend, my mini breadboard. Oh yeah, and I need some female DuPonts to connect to the power supply as well. Make sure you connect up the wires correctly or else you will end up with a bang. Sadly, not the good kind. Wait, it's not putting out 24 volts. Let me check the other wire. Oh, there we go. Done. I used an extra female connector which matches the one of the printer so that I can connect the power to the printer easily. I marked the negative so that I would not switch sides accidentally. Remember kids, use heat shrink. You should never connect anything without protection. After plugging in the power, you will see the voltmeter light up. We need to get the output high enough to 24 volts, as stated in the power supply of the printer. So turn the potentiometer of the boost converter till the voltmeter reads 24 volts. After all that's done, it's time to close up the cover. And voila, you have a fully functioning printer in your car. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.